Emerald Mayor Ginger Nelson says the existing city hall building is failing and there's not funding in an annual budget even with this proposed tax rate increase for the city hall project. The mayor says it's time to act whether it's investing in the old building to keep it functional or moving city hall to a new location. KMR Local Force Kaylee Green has details from the city about what needs to be done and how a petition could slow down the process. Mayor Nelson says twice already this year she's received phone calls and learned something at City Hall had failed, threatening to close down operations. One was a boiler that went down and we thought we were not going to be able to heat the building. Um, and then the second was we had biomatter in that flooded the basement and um, we were concerned that it was going to get into our phone system and our phones would not be operational. How we clear all that out and clean that out was just a gigantic mess. She also says flooding is common and there are regular plumbing issues plus structural damage. Um, our concrete is failing in our loading dock. Um, we, do, we are not ADA compliant. There's only one place you can go to the restroom if you're in a wheelchair, if you're a citizen who uses a wheelchair. When the governor came um, to do a press conference here last summer, he had to enter the building through the loading dock and enter into the basement just for accessibility. So how did the building fall into such disrepair? Amarillo has a very low tax rate. Um, the offset of that to get to that very low tax rate, we hold off on doing repairs as long as possible. But priorities can change from council to council. The council needs to continue to value the incremental cost of maintaining the assets that we have versus looking to hold off and, and kick the can down the road on repair. Um, a small tax raise that gets more use out of our asset, I think is a better long-term financial decision than avoiding repairs at all costs as long as we possibly can. But a petition intended to require the city council to allow voters to decide whether or not to spend the money through certificates of obligation to move City Hall is in the process of being validated. The city secretary has published notice that the council plans to issue COs on August 10th. According to Amarillo City Manager Jared Miller, the timeline could change as a result. Depending on what happens, there may have to be changes to our notice process. Uh, but right now, what I understand is this is something that can be accommodated with the postings that we've already made. It just modifies the dates at which the council would be making uh, a determination or completely changes it if they call an election. Miller says the delay could cause more failures in the existing city hall while the petition process is followed. The future of this building is in question and it would not be prudent to put hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars into something if we're going to be tearing it down right away. So we're going to keep trying to nurse this building along without making significant expenditures if at all possible. With other big ticket items the city needs to invest in, Mayor Nelson says they need input from taxpayers about how to move forward. The investments that we need to make in city hall repairs, whether we stay in this building or move to Amarillo Hardware Building, the parks and rec overhaul that we've got to have, those dollars have to come from somewhere. And at our current tax rate, we don't have the dollars to solve these problems. So um, taxpayers must be part of that conversation. Mayor Nelson also says maintaining and improving area park assets are big priorities for the city.